therapy-induced peripheral neuropathy is a huge problem. It's a most common dose-limiting side effect uh, of taxanes and a variety of other drugs, and we really don't have any effective therapies for the treatment or prevention. So as a result, patients take a lot of different types of supplements and drugs in hopes that it'll make a difference. So based on promising preclinical data, as well as uh, data from other similar types of neuropathy, we did a randomized placebo-controlled trial looking at uh, the supplement for the prevention of neuropathy in patients with breast cancer that were getting adjuvant taxane therapy. And uh, patients got six months of treatment, and we followed them out uh, after their treatment was complete. And much to our surprise, we found that patients that were taking the supplement actually had worse neuropathy compared to patients on the placebo, a statistically significant difference at 24 uh, weeks. And um, the primary endpoint was 12 weeks. There was a trend, but at 24 weeks, it was statistically significantly worse. Uh, so we know that patients were actually taking this because we were able to look at carnitine levels in the blood. And in the patients on the treatment group, carnitine levels went up, and they didn't change at all on the placebo group. So we know that there, there was uh, compliance uh, in, in the study. So there are a couple uh, uh, notes that we should take from this. And I think one of the most important things is that supplements uh, do have physiologic effects. Uh, we don't know what those effects are. We don't know how things interact with chemotherapy drugs that we give, and they sometimes can cause more harm than benefit. And that's why we really do need to study them so that we can give appropriate advice to patients in terms of what they should and shouldn't take.